recording. Uh, sub the one and a half, podium, read two miles. No Majesty's Royal box, God bless you, love. Well, I'm on my way up to Yorkshire today to see me mate, <laughs> Foxy. So, uh, as soon as I'm going to be riding around Yorkshire, I thought I'd show you a bit of long kiss here. <laughs> Morning. Went out and did a vlog yesterday with my new uh, microphone on. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> no sound whatsoever. But it was a nice ride. Went and filled the classic up. And a little bit of a tootle, not much, but you know, about 10 miles. She enjoyed it because she's not been out for a bit. Uh, well, I was, I was looking forward to a really nice day today. Uh, 11 degrees, so a bit balmy as of late, and uh, cloud, eh? But like we've got clouds, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, expecting this bloody drizzle, though. <laughs> it's nothing worse. <laughs> Oh, this little forest over there, Woodland Trust, probably. But I like this little road. Oh, that bloody wagon! Oh no, it's not. It's rain. <laughs> In my eyes. Put that down a bit. Should have put my waterproofs on. So. Uh, Probably can't see much. Anyway, yesterday I was doing a little bit of a vlog and uh, enjoying myself. <laughs> and um, I was talking about last Tuesday night, first proper meeting at the Royal Fields Club of the year. Don't do one on January, we'll leave that one out because uh, people are skint, hangover and all that. But I went, <laughs> we did an unofficial one with Dave, a uh, new member, wanted to have a look around. So we had a good chat and got to it, it was good really, a bit of one-to-one -one like. Anyway, uh, went on the 7th, Tuesday, and uh, met loads. <laughs> Loads of new members turned up. Well, great start to the year. Uh, but was one of the older members that I've uh, never met in the flesh. Uh, such a lovely guy. And it was um, Lane's Explorer. <laughs> All the way up from Morecambe. And uh, it was such a pleasure to see him. And me and him had to sit down together, we cleared out of the room, it was because there were about at least 20 people there. Oh, I'm having a good natter, there's, there's, there's more women than normally, than they normally get blokes. But, uh, so uh, my, wife, my wife came with me, so she enjoyed herself. This is why I put my camera on, this is one of my favourite reviews. <laughs> I love it when you come down here, you come out of grubby old Manchester, and you come down here, into Sabden. Lovely. Excellent view. Anyway, so me and Peter had a great chat and I ended up telling him my life story on bikes. <laughs> he started talking on his track about you know his older days and what he got us up to. And uh I keep thinking of going into it, you know, on my first bike and doing you know, doing like a, a bit of a series as you say. You know, my first bike, well, my first bikes were my mate's bikes, really. Not mine, but uh, that's when bike, that's how my bike is started, and we're not, I'm not going to start going into that. I might do that as a, a later date. Today's about sat Tuesday night. And the other funny thing we had <laughs> was uh, there was three lads I met on the Saturday before, this time last week. And uh, been to watch me 
grandson play football and then I just thought I'd have a, a ride down to the um, Bolton Motorcycles and have a look at the new, uh, but I'm not all that impressed in it, the new Meteor 650. There's just something I can't put my finger on. And it's too heavy, isn't it? What is it, 240, what can we call it? Uh, it's like uh, 80 pound heavier than this. I know the engine's a big heavy lump. So, anyway, anyway, I met these three lads. They were all outside and like, Brand new scrams, lovely bikes. All three of them, all three, you know, uh, metal panniers on them. Look the business. They, they look good with the panniers on the scrams. They look, you know, the metal panniers, all black ones. Anyway, uh, they're all two of them are retired. One's about to retire. And as for the retirement, they're going to ride round Britain. But. A couple of them have had bikes for years upon years. One of them's bike won't start. So I said to the uh, salesman, like, it'll be that bloody white grease. No, he said, <laughs> it won't be. Anyway, took the seat off and had a look, yeah, full of white grease, full of the bloody stuff. Why they don't check them? They must know. <sighs> anyway, uh, they came on Tuesday night <laughs> to the club. They said they were coming anyway before they met me and pull up here somewhere, take a photograph of your bike for me, a fun mail thing. Oh, I think I've come too far. Yeah, never mind. Oh, I might try it here. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Saddle bags. View through a gate. <laughs> Misty one. How about that? Public, it's going to public footpath. Popular place, that public footpath. <laughs> ah, how are I? Couple of good photographs. Foxy won't mind if I'm a bit late. <laughs> Especially in this ruddy rain. Oh, not so bad, it's calmed down a bit. Yeah, so I'll get the old telephone out. Look at that, hey. Sheep in the fields. Hey, some weather that. Pretty, uh... Yeah, I'll give you a wipe. Not bad for me to remember that. Hello, love. Try it again, there you go. Come on. Oh. Yeah, you can all get me phone now. Oh, more fluids again. <laughs> oh. Look, look at that. Wait till the cars are gone. Yeah, I'm not that bloody bit of rubbish there. I'd pick it up, but... Better get out of the way. My hands are a bit warm.
so I'm not putting any glyph grips on them. I know the last four hours and it only takes me an hour and a half to get to where I'm going. But if it's cold on my way home, safe and sorry. There she goes. Always wait with these till it's finished its cycle. That's for other people that have a lovely classic 350. 9.40am. Look a white polo. And um Yeah, so all these uh I'll carry it, I'll keep it going for a bit. I was gonna finish it there. These um three lads. Bit of a brave hill there, and they come over there fast. Because I know what I do with my car, I like it. Uh, the three lads, they're going on a, a trip round um, Great Britain. What a fantastic thing to do. You won't be able to see now with my camera because of the rain, but what a great thing for them to do. Hey, well, I said to them, which way are you going? Clockwise or anti clockwise? And uh, I said to him, I'd go down to uh, head down west coast to Cornwall, then back along, you know, the south coast, up the east coast, and then uh, then C500 back down through the lakes. Bob's your uncle. But anyway, I won't say which way do we go in there. Uh, I start talking to him after me, I'm talking to Peter. Morning Peter. And uh She comes back and she said she'd asked them and all that and he said, What are you gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna leave we're gonna leave. I'm probably now from the uh Royal Enf from the Birch Hotel. Royal Enfield where I'm eating places. Gonna leave from there, right to Southport. And then when they get to Southport, stop at the carousel, have a brew, and decide whether they're going to turn left to right. <laughs> Fluff a bike in that, innit? <laughs> decide from there whether they're going to go like right or left. Oh, bloody charge, you know. You need better pensions. <laughs> <coughs> I'll probably buy weight on it. Yeah, so, uh, fair play to them. Just watching this car behind me. Oh, it's not so bad now. It's like my bum before. Don't like this road at all. Seems completely worn out. So as I get over this little uh, bridge, yep. called Babbling Brook, there, I shall pull over, let the Renault pass. on the next one. I'll just make this as a little short. Oh, not short enough now really is it? Well bye for now. Can you see how that's a you know it's pointless if you can. Look. <laughs>